hello you welcome so in this video i'll be showing you how to cut and sew this exaggerated sleeve if you're just stumbling onto my channel i will appreciate if you subscribe help a growing channel please and hit the notification button so you get duly notified whenever i upload a new video so let's get right to it So this is the sleeve template that have been previously drafted. I'll be working on this region here for this tutorial. It is having two partitions and I have already cut the long sleeve. You can see from the photo that it has two partitions. All right, so the second sleeve, which is the exaggerated layer, is the reason why we are here so i'm going to go ahead and cut this part off since the sleeve is exaggerated i'm going to be increasing the cap and i will also be increasing the bicep so i'll be expanding the width to make it really big okay all right so now this is the fabric This is the fabric that I'm making use of and I place my pattern on the fabric. The bicep of my client is 14.5 inches. I will add extra 10 inches to her bicep to make it 24.5 inches. In order to do that, I'm going to cut through from here to the end and I would widen it this way so in order to ensure that is a straight line i'll double check with my ruler okay so it's straight i've straightened it now okay so i'm going to measure having Making, making sure that it's straightened i'm going to measure the extra fabric here and i have here 10 inches as you can see the next thing i'm going to do is to increase the cap i will trace from this side of my sleeve to the other end gradually reducing it until i as i go towards the other end okay so let me let me redraw it so it's more visible so you can see it properly so i have succeeded in raising my cap by about five inches and i used five inches before for my cap height so it has now become 10 inches so now that i've done this i would go ahead and cut this out Okay, so I'll simply take this off. 
this area here is for the back armhole so the next step is for me to cut the fusible interface for it to have that standing effect you can also make use of sewable boning or rigeline and stitch it along the the lining you can also make use of stiff however for this video i'm going to be gumming a peplum stay or a hard interface so this is the peplum stay that i have here it's very sturdy and to give me the kind of stability that i want for this sleeve so i'll go ahead and cut it out and once i'm done i'm going to start the stitching all right so guys i have gummed the interface on the sleeve on both sleeves as you can see and i have also cut the lining as well so i'm going to fold it like this and i will run a stitch with one, one inch seam allowance okay i'll do that for the lining both lining and i would also repeat the same process for the main fabric itself so i have done the stitching and i have also given it a good press i've also stitched the lining as well and pressed it so now what i'm going to be doing is to join the lower part of the lining to the lower part of the fabric so i have to ensure that it matches at the joining the joining to the other joining you hold it down with the help of a pin I'll pin it round so it doesn't slip in the course of stitching. Do ensure that you pin it round like this. And I'll do the same for the second one. Now I'll go ahead to stitch it round and after doing that I will be right back to show you what next to do okay so now I have stitched round the lining and I've also uh, not just stitching it I have also edge stitched so that the lining doesn't show when we turn it to the other side so now you I'm raising it up like this bringing it up and you can give it a good press you can go ahead and give it a good press so that um, it's more stable you can see now it's quite neat so since I've done that what I'm going to do now is that I'll be top stitching the lining holding it down to the fabric 
you can pin it round but i think i prefer to top stitch it like this so that when sewing it onto the onto the dress it's not going to give me much of a problem so whichever one you prefer whatever rocks your boots but as for me i like to top stitch like this <laughs> Okay. Yeah. It's a little bit tricky. <laughs> the, the fabric is quite stiff, but you can always get the hang of it as you're going further. So while stitching, always ensure that the lining is not popping from the under. So keep checking to stretch it out while you're stitching because it's, it can be so annoying that after stitching, then you'll be seeing the lining showing underneath the sleeve. It doesn't look nice. Okay, so now I'm going to notch the center. See that I've notched the center of the sleeve. And we are going to use the other end, that part that was held the other time, this, the seam area. I'm going to join it with the side of my dress. And I'm going to be pinning it down, holding it down with a pin make sure you match it so that the joining matches with the joining of your side seam in the dress you don't want it to have any shifting you shouldn't slip so you could pin it round before you start stitching but i i guess i'm lazy <laughs> so okay i'm going to start stitching now So you keep going steadily. Like so. Okay. So once I've ensured that the center notching is on the shoulder, I will now pleat the excess as you can see. You pleat the excess. You ensure that that center that I notched, you make sure it's on the shoulder. So you can be able to know what is remaining for you to use as your pleats. Okay, so it's the excess that we're going to ease into the armhole. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So you can, once I have gotten to that point, 
then I will pin the remainder parts as you are seeing me do now. I will pin the remainder parts of the sleeve to the armhole gradually going towards the shoulder. So when I'm almost at the shoulder region, once I'm almost at the shoulder region, I would stop there and use the excess as my pleats to complete the sleeve. So that excess is what I'm going to pleat now. I would use it to continue my pleats. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain here. In case you don't understand or you have any questions to ask, do feel free to post your questions in the comment section and I will attend to every question or every comment that is being posted here. I will appreciate your input. I will appreciate your, your contributions. Yeah. Okay. So I'm done here. I'm done here. I'm done with the sleeve. As you can see, you can see that it's the stability of the sleeve is really giving. <laughs> the sleeve is living. <laughs> All right, I have already done that of the second sleeve. So what I'll do next is to attach the Chantilly lace into the armhole. So it's going to extend like so. And then I will wear it on my mannequin so we can view the end results. All right, let's go. So guys, this is the result of our work. You can see the effect of the interface on the sleeve as it has more stability so thank you so much guys for watching see you next time i, I appreciate you thank you so much if you have any questions don't forget to ask so bye